Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about closed deletion cards and how they can functionally replace basic cards in your everyday Anki use. So I'll start with some examples here. So we'll begin with a basic card. What is the capital of Georgia? And the answer is Atlanta. Okay, so we'll add that card. And now we'll test the same bit of information, but using a closed solution card. So the capital of Georgia is Atlanta. And then we'll close out Atlanta here. And we'll see what these look like. Okay, so the front of the card, what is the capital of Georgia? The answer is Atlanta. And again, we're testing the same bit of information, but on just a single card here, no front and back. What is the capital of or if the capital of Georgia is Atlanta. Okay, great. So now I'm going to show you that that sort of basic format, question answer format that we have, we can retain with a closed deletion card, but even improve it and test more than one piece of information in one card. So what is the capital of Georgia? And we know now that the answer is Atlanta. So you can see here that I still have closed solution cards selected as the note type, but now I'm putting the same con content that we had on the basic card, but on this closed card, because sometimes I find myself sort of needing the question and answer format to test myself on certain facts or concepts. Um, but I find that with the basic front and back card, I can just sort of memorize the format of the front of the card, just sort of what is the capital of Georgia, just sort of how that looks to me, and then I can kind of just memorize the answer at Atlanta. But with this new method of sort of closed deletion card making that I've started using, uh, I sort of get rid of that problem. So you can close out Georgia and Atlanta, and we'll see what that looks like. So. Now you can see that the exact same words, the exact same content is on this closed deletion card, but you're closing out two pieces of information so you can do sort of a reciprocal test of your knowledge. So what is the capital? The capital of blank is Atlanta. The answer is Georgia. And then what is the capital of Georgia? And this is exactly like the basic card we had earlier. And the answer is Atlanta. So by doing this, uh, you can really sort of fill in answer uh, gaps in your knowledge where you know you're just kind of rifling through cards you might just be memorizing the card and not the answer and now uh, you can really get a good grasp of that card and as you can kind of see it it makes the normal basic card type kind of obsolete so I'd like to hear some of your comments uh, and opinions on this card making method below in the comments um, and aside from that um, have a good day and good luck with your Anki adventure.